Hey, what's up, freaks and geeks? Welcome back to Low Res DIY. So, today we're going to install Piehole on our TrueNAS server and uh, start blocking a few of those ads. And, and if you don't know what Piehole is, basically it's a, a ad blocker. You can utilize it for your home, ho whole home, or just one device. The gist of it is you install Piehole on your server, then you go to your router. And in your uh, DNS server or your name server, you point it at the Piehole server. You know, you give it the IP address of your Piehole server. So that when you go out onto the web, it goes through your, your Piehole server, finds whatever website you're looking for, brings it back. And if that website has attached some advertisement to it or, or malware, you know, we're going to crank it up a little bit with some steroids to where you're blocking malware and tracking information and stuff. And it, and it blocks that from even getting to your system. So, uh, we'll, we'll show you an example as we go, but, uh, let's go ahead and get to it and install Piehole. Okay. Before we get started, I just wanted to, uh, bring up their website and I wanted to point this out right here. They've got a donate bo button or a sponsor us button. Let's say you uh, install this, you decide you like it and everything. Maybe go ahead, throw a couple, two, three, four, five bucks at them. I mean, they do keep it up and running. They keep their list up to date and they kind of do all the, the hard work for us. All right, now let's go ahead and get logged in to our, uh, our TrueNAS scale uh, server. And we'll go down to applications application availabil availability now you'll notice where is it right here piehole and this is one of their supported uh apps that they have in here now i don't know this just recently happened to where the little picture for whatever the app is disappeared so i don't know if they're not supporting it anymore but they still got it out there but one thing i do know is that this does not work i've tried it multiple times different ways it just doesn't work so what we're going to do is we're going to install true charts on here and we're going to use their version of piehole or their their setup for piehole and to install true charts we want to go to our uh manage catalogs and then we want to add a catalog and it's going to have a warning on it but we're good let's go ahead and name it true charts and then oh got my cap lock on and uh, we want to go ahead and get their repository now i'll have a link to the piehole website and to the true charts website in the description in case you don't know where it is but all we really need to do is we want to go ahead and copy this repository go back in here in repository we want to paste it in and we want to save it and adding a large catalog can take a few minutes this is going to take a few minutes because it's a pretty large catalog that we're installing here but we're going to go ahead and do it we can see up here it's creating the catalog and everything i just jumped over to the web data because again i'm impatient you can see right here that it is definitely going through the process of downloading the catalog okay it is finally done that that definitely took a while to download and uh install so now that you scroll down you'll see there are a lot more apps that are yellow these are all the apps that true charts has made available to the community now this isn't uh this isn't from ix systems or services whatever their name is this is an actual group of uh men and women that are figuring this out for us and putting it out there for us to use. I didn't, when I was looking at their, uh, their website, I didn't see a donate uh, button or anything like that, but you know, if, if you would happen to stumble across one, uh, might be worth donating to them. So let's go ahead and search Piehole. And we're gonna click the install. We'll give it a name. I'm just gonna copy and paste. Next next container all that's good app right here give it a password uh i'm just going to give it password for now and i want to change this and nah, nah, quad not quad nine both of them their first and second are fine network we can leave it the same storage we don't need to add any more ingress we're not going to fool with that right now 
next and we don't need to give it anything else add-ons are fine and let's save it okay so i've noticed this with my system maybe it's just my system or maybe everyone else's is having this issue but sometimes when i install an app and it just sits there like it was and taken forever and it doesn't look like it's actually doing anything if you refresh the page sometimes it, it brings it up it, it finished but for some reason it didn't update the page so you've got a couple options here at the bottom admin and open if we click on open it's just letting you know it's there you, nothing you can do there admin is what you're going to want to click and right over here to the left that guy right there there's your login so let's go ahead and hit that put the password in that you gave it when you uh set it up and all right so now we are in pie hole you got your dashboard over here on the on the left side you got all your standard menus you know everything you want to find your uh, query log your log term data whitelist blacklist group management dis uh, disability i'm not going to read them all to you you pretty much uh, can see what is going on there the first thing we're going to want to do though is we're going to go uh, update gravities and we're going to go ahead and click update all right it, it did it successfully and now up here in the upper right corner you can see uh domain names on ad list these are all the domain names that it is going to block for you. But before it's actually going to start doing that, you need to go into your router and set it up as the DNS name server. Now, my router is actually, right now I'm using the PF Sense box, so I really don't need Pi-hole, but we're going to do it just to show you. And you would go to your DHCP server and, and just look around on your, your router until you find your name servers, your D DNS servers, or they're called name servers also. And we're going to change that to the IP address of our new uh, Pi-hole server. And then save it. Verify the names are, that it's saved. All right, we're good to go there. And uh, let's just go to speed test and see if it's working. See, it's not working right now. I know why that's happening. Let's go ahead and click out of there. But you saw the ads were there and everything else. So if we go into our command prompt and we're going to do an IP config space slash renew what did i do there ip config base four slash renew okay there we go all right all that does is it your computer will go out renew all your setup so it'll get the new dns server uh which is pi hole so let's try that again speedtest.net and give it a few minutes There you go. It's not bringing any ads up or anything like that because the pie hole is blocking all of those ads. So we know it's up and running. We know it's working right here. You can see it's already generating some stuff. Look at 33%. That website, 33% of the stuff coming through it was just ads to you. So that's fine and dandy. That's your, your list of 136. But what if you want more? Like myself, you know the internet runs on advertisements. So I'm sure that website, when I blocked all the advertisements, they weren't making any revenue from it. So I can't say I am a big supporter of blocking all advertisements, but I want to, you know, you can just do a general search for uh, ad block lists of uh, pie hole. And that's what I did. And this fire, uh, fire bog came up and it's got a quite a few lists that you can add to your pie hole setup and the ones i like are the sus suspicious list the uh, tracking and telemetry list and the malware list now we can go ahead and add these lists to our setup the way you're going to do that is it's in a weird spot you're going to go to group management and you're going to add list 
and right here it just says address so we'll go back to the list and I'll put a link to this list in the de description also and you just want to highlight right click copy go back to pie hole paste it in right here and you can give it a description if you want I'm not too worried about it and I'm gonna click add so all right that list was just added to uh, our pie hole but it's not in effect yet what you need to do is go back to update gravities click update and give it a few minutes and it's gonna go out to that list well it'll go out to every list that you have uh, designated here and it will update it so then uh, hmm well that didn't add anything to it right there let's try that again yeah didn't really add anything so I'm gonna add a few more lists and see if we can get this number to jump up some all right, we've added a few lists. Go ahead. Let's go ahead and update our gravities again. Okay, it went up a little bit. It didn't go up much. Surprisingly small amount right there, 149,000. Uh, so anyway, it went up. We're blocking more things. You can go back to this list and you can add every one of these on there if you want. That's up to you. But you're going to find out that if you get too many of them on there and it'll be it'll block too much stuff you'll end up uh possibly locking yourself out of things like facebook stuff like that so it's a little bit of trial and error that you'll have to go through to see which lists work for you and which lists don't work for you uh that uh this page right here is not the only set of uh block lists that are out there there are a ton more if you want to look for those also i'm going to go ahead real quick and add the rest of these malicious lists to our pie hole all right after adding that it added another 20,000 or so I'm sure this number will go up the more that it's in use and everything one of the nice things about it is your graphs here uh, again you can see all that type of stuff and know what's going on with it but one of the other things that this is, uh, I want to show you real quick. If you go to settings, DNS, all right. So this is a DNS server. So it's doing the looking up for you of these addresses. You can change if you want to use Cloudflare or one of these other ones, level three, whatever. You can just unclick, click. You can add as many as you want. Myself, I only use Quad9 and then Cloudflare. Then scroll down to the bottom and you save it. And the last thing that I want to show you real quick, which I think is, is pretty doggone neat, is you can set up local DNS records. And what that means is, uh, well, I'll use the, uh, our TrueNAS server as, a, uh, as an example for it. Let's see if we go back. Where is it located at? General. Mm, oh, well, I can't find it. So we'll just make one up. Let's say... Uh, you know, every time we want to access our server, we're going and typing in, you know, 192. We're typing the IP address in and we're hitting enter. Or we're going and we're making a uh, favorites of it and we're clicking on that. What if you don't want to do that? Let's say you want to have, uh, you just want to be able to type in a name for your server instead of having to remember the IP address. You can come in here. And you, uh, that's the wrong one. And you can give it a domain name and tell it to go right here. And what this is doing is, is it's setting up a local domain. So it's not going to go out to the internet looking up your truenas.local. It just knows that, hey, it's on this, you know, it's a local deal and it's at this IP address. So knock on wood if I go ahead and type in truenas.local it's going to bring it up but ah that's why I've got it set for uh, my other truenas server I already have that set for my other truenas server so let's do another one real quick let's uh hmm let's do my router my pfsense router all right, so now if we go to http colon backslash backslash router dot local, 
it's going to take me to my PF sense router. Now it's set up that it, it's not going to let it work with this, but we're going to be able to build off of this because right now, if we go back to our true NAS to our apps, and if we want to access any of our apps, net data. So we click on net data and it is at port 20489. Well, if we go in here and let's just call it data dot local. And then we go back to it and we see our IP address is the same as our server. It's just on a different port. So let's copy that. We put it in and we paste it in. We add it. It won't let you use that port. So, okay, let's take that out. And then we add it. Oh, it doesn't need the HTTP. Add it. It lets you do that. So now if we go to data.local, we hit enter. Oops, HTTP colon data dot local. Hit enter. Well, it bring us to something. Oh, it bring us to our true NAS server because it wasn't able to access the port that it needs to access to get to our net data screen, the 20, uh, 2489. But with utilizing this net data, our next video, we're going to go ahead and we're going to install Trafix in here and we're going to use Trafix and Pi-hole and set it up to where you can access all of your apps that you install locally and not have to go through the whole headache of remembering IP addresses or, you know, making your, your super cool uh, favorites list or anything like that. So... This was just a, a quick little intro to Pi-hole. It does more things than just that. You can actually use it as a uh, DHCP server if you want. There, there's different things you can do to it. But quick, dirty intro to it. Go ahead, install it, try it out. If you like it, you know, maybe drop the guys a couple, two, three, four, five, six dollars or whatever and, and keep them hitting this stuff up. Like I said, Trafix is the uh, next video that we're going to do and get everything wrapped together in a nice little package, make life easier on us. And uh, sounds interesting. Go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and we'll catch you later.